Link down below in the description box to credit Eurogamer for posting the article. This has to do with Digital Foundry, which is a YouTube channel that is very well revered and liked. They did some performance tests with the day one patch of Elden Ring, and I want to share this with people because it looks like if you're on PlayStation, you might actually want to play the PS4 Pro version of the game on the PS5, so let's get right into it. Let's take at the situation. Let's take a look at the situation on consoles. The performance metrics we saw in the games network last year seem largely unchanged on the PS5 and the Series X. Both continue to offer two modes, a frame rate mode and a quality mode. However, even running on the launch day patch of 1.02, the frame rate mode continues to run at a range of 45 FPS to 60 FPS on both the PS5 and the Series X. My eyes are blinking at about 65 FPS, while the quality mode on each range is 30 to 60 FPS. Both machines run with entirely unlocked frame rates, and much like the network test, there will be no 30 FPS cap lock to even out the wavering reading in quality mode. The result? A highly variable performance for the quality mode in particular, where 60 FPS is rarely, if ever, achieved on PS5 or Series X. In comparison, PS5 is typically operating at a higher frame rate than the Series X, though clearly neither is ideal. The bottom line is neither console offers a consistent 60 FPS in the final release. That being said, there are some workarounds for each platform worth considering. On Series X, is greatly improved by its system level support for variable refresh rate if you have a supporting display. VRR helps minimize the perceived judder in its 45 to 60 FPS range frame rate mode, creating a smoother experience by matching the screen's refresh rate to the frame rate. This may not be a solution for everybody, but for those with a compatible TV, it's the best option on the Xbox right now. Series S users also benefit from the VRR here, given this platform's flame frame rates Mode runs between 40 and 60 FPS right now. It's a viable choice, though not perfect, given the series S's, 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 S's. performance veers more often towards the lower end of the range of the Series X. Meanwhile, hitting a stable 60 FPS on PS5 involve another tactic entirely. Sadly, VRR support isn't available on Sony's machine right now, but as with the network test, simply running the PS4 game on the PS5 clears up the frame rate to a smooth 60 fps so what's the trade-off the game runs at a lower resolution at what appears to be a reconstructed 1800p and with lower settings and grass density than the native ps5 version this is fundamentally the ps4 pro code path using the higher power of the ps5 to hit a more consistent performance level even with the trade-offs running the ps4 game on the ps5 is currently the best option on any console to achieve a consistent 60 FPS and comes recommended if you value outright performance over image quality and higher end graphical features. The PC situation is also worth clarifying a little bit as it's currently standing. The PC version using the latest 1.02 patch has a number of issues that will affect all hardware configurations on all graphical setting presets Elden Ring is from software's first foray into low-level APIs on PC, and the game uh, uses DirectX 12. As we've seen in other DX12 titles, there can be severe and distracting frame rate stutter issues. You can read the rest of that if you want on your own. I predominantly wanted to focus on the console aspect of this article, simply because on the PC, your mileage will vary. Everybody has the same PS4. Everybody has the same PS4 Pro, the same Series X, PS5, etc., not everybody has the same PC. I know people personally that have this game on PC that are having next to no stutters. Now, they have monster of computers, but it's just to show you that if you have the raw power, you can run this game pretty, pretty good, whereas on the PS4, PS5, Xbox, and all that, on console, essentially, you're much more limited to what you can do. You can't lower the draw distance, at least I don't think you can. You can't change some of the graphical settings, right? To make it run a little smoother. Again, running the PS4 version of the game might be the best solution. Now, when it comes to Xbox, if you don't have a VRR display, I don't know if you can run, because there's that smart delivery system and I haven't had an Xbox in a while. I don't know if you can run the Xbox One version of the game on an Xbox Series S and X. I don't know. But if you can, that would be interesting. Actually, I'd be interested to know if you can do that to begin with. 
anyhow, that's it for this article. Like I said, if you want to read more on the PC uh, or just in a little bit more detail, because, oh, I guess it was pretty much done. Well, there you go. It was more or less pretty much done. Whatever. That's not the point. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It does really help support the channel with the algorithm and making me a little bit more relevant in the search results when people are looking shit up online. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. Not only will I bend it in half, I will make sure for the rest of your life, you see 30 FPS out of the left eye, 60 FPS out of the right eye. Yeah. But if you want to subscribe to the channel, maybe I can even it out. If not, whatever. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. I am confident that it's going to work out eventually. I'm not excusing what's going on, but I'm confident that eventually it'll be smoothed out. I still think it's inexcusable though, honestly. But it seems that it is what it is with games lately. Anyhow, take care. Let me know down below what you think if you've been playing the game, how it's been going. You probably knew about this before I brought it up. Is this going to make you want to cancel your pre-order? A couple of people have already commented on my channel saying that they have after reading similar reports. Yep. Maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.